Hello guys, this is uh, the introduction video for our uh, custom period chart indicator for CTrader platform. As you already know, the CTrader uh, support four different kinds of chart types. Uh, uh, the first one is the time-based chart, which is normal on all trading platforms. The three others are tech chart, which is a great uh, future of CTrader. Lots of other uh, trading platforms lack this uh, chart type. And uh, two other is Rinko and Range uh, chart types. But one major issue in CTrader is uh, the um, it, it doesn't allow you to set a custom period. All the uh, periods come fixed in, in CTrader. Uh, like as you can see here, the standard or time-based charts are fixed, uh, tech charts are fixed, Rinko and uh, range, uh, range charts are the same way. So if you want to have a suppose a, a, a 12 peps uh, Rinko chart, you can't have that. You have 10 and 15. Our indicator allows you to has, uh, have any period, any custom period chart uh, on top of your current CTRader chart. It supports all of the four the supported uh, CTRader chart types. Uh, let's add it on my uh, hourly time frame your USD chart, custom period chart indicator. Okay, so uh, the first thing you must set is based on. Uh, uh, which uh, is uh, there, there, there is uh, there are four uh, different options time based which is the standard uh, chart type text Rinko and range as you can see my uh, chart type is um, standard or time based so I set it uh, to time which is the default value my uh, time frame is hourly I will change this to something like um, 10 hour okay and uh, in this uh, area, you can uh, set the text uh, and uh, ring range uh, size if you set the based on to other chart types. For now, uh, this tool will not have any effect on uh, uh, what we are going to see on our chart. The body and wax section allows you to set the appearance of the bars. And you can uh, uh, set the transparency so that you will be able to see the uh, default or real chart uh, boards uh, um, behind the indicator boards. The maximum time frame allows you to only enable indicator on a, uh, on a time frame uh, less than your selected time frame here. So I will uh, leave this disabled as I don't need it. Let's click OK and see what's going to happen. OK, here we have the 10 hour uh, bars generated from our hourly chart. So the indicator uses your uh, current chart data for generating the new uh, your uh, custom uh, chart. So uh, you can, uh, there is a limitation. Uh, you have to um, be careful because uh, the, you can't uh, generate uh, non-time based charts like Rinko, Tech, and Range from a time based chart. Uh, chart, but you can do the reverse. So, if you, uh, uh, I set the indicator uh, chart uh, based on to Rinko or range, it will not work as my current chart type is uh, a time based or a standard chart. But the reverse is work. Uh, uh, and uh, if you uh, if you have a Rinko tick or range chart, you can uh, set the indicator based on to a time based chart and uh, uh, plot a. Uh, uh, the, the different uh, time frame uh, chart on top of your non-time based chart or price based chart. As you can see, we have the um, bars. Now let's uh, try on a different uh, chart type. I will go to the 10 pips Rinko chart here. Okay, as you can see, the bars are plotted here. It's uh, the, the body size, uh, the length of body, it differs because uh, the Rinko candles each get a different time. So we have a very small uh, bar here, but look at this. This one uh, gets more time. Now let's change this to the time based on time to based on Rinko and uh, set the size of range or Rinko size. It's in pips to something uh, larger than uh, 10 pips. Let's set it to 50 pips, okay? As you can see, we have uh, 50 pips uh, Rinko boards on top of our 10 pips uh, chart. Uh, 
uh, same like previous, uh, the bo body size differs because the each um, uh, period in Rinko gets different amount of time uh, to generate that amount of uh, uh, price fluctuation. Now uh, let's try this on a tech chart. Set this to something like 20 ticks. Okay, it's Renko, so let's change it to ticks. Suppose I want to have 70 ticks uh, chart on my on top of my 20 ticks chart. I don't think CTrader has the 70 ticks. Let me check. Does it has the? Yeah, it doesn't has the 70 ticks chart. So I will. Uh, I will add this. It's in text seventy. Okay. Uh, the uh, indicator doesn't plot any uh, plotted any board uh, in this area because of the maximum boards number. If we increase the maximum boards number, it will keep generating boards. So these are the candles of seventy ticks. As you can see, the same way you can use the set it to the range chart. Okay, let me change this to a range chart 10 pips. Okay, how much is the size of this one indicator? Um, it's 50 pips. So each of these boards uh, represent 50 pips um, range board on top of our 10 pips range board chart. The indicator is very easy to use. You can uh, change the appearance of boards. Let me show you. Okay, uh, I will leave the colors. I will ju just change the transparency. I will increase it. So if you want, if you don't want to see the current uh, uh, C trader chart or your default chart, you can do it by setting the color option. Mm -hmm. Let me try. Foreground color, bull outline, bureau outline, bull fill. Okay, I will set this to. Okay, color option. Bull fill green. Now let me set the outline color, blue outline. Uh -huh, beer outline. Okay, as you can see, I set uh, the uh, default chart colors uh, to fully transparent. Now I don't see any of the default bars, only the indicator bars. You can do this if you want to. You can load. Let me increase the number of indicator boards to something like 100. As you can see, generated new boards. We keep moving to the left. Okay, you have your mm, custom chart on C Trader. That easy. Okay. I think we have reached the maximum number of boards. Let me set this to something like 1,000. Mm -hmm. And uh, another thing, you can have multiple instances of this indicator on top of each other. So here I have one custom period chart on my current chart. Uh, which is uh, a range uh, chart uh, with 50 pips size. Now let's add another 100 pips size range chart on top of this. Okay, I will set this to range, the size to 100. You can set different colors for this one. Suppose for bullish board color, I will use uh, white. For bearish board color, I will, I will use black. And the same way for this one, Wix. Uh, I will leave it transparent. Let's see what's going to happen. Okay. Okay. You have the hundred pips 
range bars. I will. Which one is this? Okay, it's this one. I have to increase the transparency a little bit so it will be much more visible. Okay, you have it. The video ends here. If you had any question, please add a comment or contact us via our website. You can find the indicator link on the video description. Bye.